are singing Purple Rain in Central Florida tonight. Mickey and Minnie and all them, they've got their man who no one knew about until Adam Silver called his name. Paolo Bancaro is the number one pick in the 22 NBA draft. And the man who orchestrated all of that from their draft headquarters, their war room in Central Florida. It is the president of basketball operations for the Magic, Jeff Weltman. Jeff, uh, first things first, we're all going to Vegas in a few weeks. Uh, can you and I play poker together? Because your poker face, quite <laughs> frankly, might be the best in the world. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment, and um, I'll see you in Vegas, Jared. Perfect, Jeff. I, I, knew, I knew you'd be my man for that. So, okay, let, a lot of layers to this. Let's peel the onion back. First, why Paolo? Well, um, I think it's evident to any even casual fan that, you know, Paolo's um, size and his skill set and his IQ and his positional versatility, I could probably go on for an hour just with just with adjectives, um, um, are just so, so uh, uh, custom made for the way the NBA is playing right now. And um, we're trying to build a team of high IQ multi-positional players who can um, make plays off the dribble, who play for others and who lift one another up. And Paolo has a chance to be a special player regarding uh, hitting all of those uh, boxes. When did you know he would be your selection? Oh, you know, the process, you know, it, it, it really never ends. Um, you know, we were, we were having, you know, discussions and uh, I don't really want to say debates, but really, um, multi-layered conversations about not just the players, but how that impacts your team, you know, and that's a good way to kind of look through the lens of how you see your team through different players. And uh, so Paolo just, you know, uh, uh, you know um, helps in so many different areas. And we think that he, as a 19 year old, just has tremendous potential for growth in front of him. You talked the other day about your strong desire not just to work your way back to the middle, not to be mediocre in the NBA, because it, it really is purgatory in, in the NBA when you're not great and when you're not really bad. So now with what you've collected, everything from Cole Anthony to Markel Fultz, Jonathan Isaac, assuming he gets healthy, to Franz Wagner and now Van bon Caro, how close are you to, to advancing past mediocrity? I mean, that's a great question. And I think that some of that has to play out. Um, obviously, you know, it's a very hard league and, and that's why we play the games to find out uh, that's the measuring stick ultimately of where we are. Um, I will say that, you know, we haven't been doing this too long. You know, this is going into uh, year year two of, of, um, of having repositioned the team. And, you know, 20 year old, I'm, I'm just going through our starting lineup, you know, 24, 20, 20, 19, 24. So, you know, look, we are not going to um, expedite the process um, artificially. There's no reason to rush back to the middle. But if we see opportunities where we can grow and get better and it doesn't cost us on the back end, you know, we'll pursue those opportunities. In the meantime, this is kind of where we were hoping to be. We're building a young team of character and talent and multi-positional players, as I said. And so, uh, obviously, we also go into the summer with um, potentially with cap space and uh, some decisions to make. And going forward, we've got extra picks, extra first round picks banked. So, you know, we're, we'll see how it goes. Our mission right now is to really focus on developing the young guys that we have and make sure that there's a path for each one to reach their heights. Well, with, with that said, if, if it's a safe assumption to make, if we see Paolo and some of those other guys playing in Vegas in a couple of weeks uh, while you and I are playing poker. Um, what, what, what do you expect from these guys before we get to late September when training camp opens? Work. We expect work. Uh, Coach Mosley and I have already been on the phone with Paolo. Can't wait to see him and his family and his reps tomorrow. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's about the work. It's about the um, relationships that they start to form with with their teammates, with uh, their coaching staff, with the rest of the organization. And, you know, we're, we're a few weeks away from moving into a brand new practice facility, which we're extremely excited about. And uh, so it, it, that's a simple answer, man. This, this is about work and it's about um, 
uh, um, lifting all boats with, as the tide rises. Uh, tell Jamal Mosley to stop smiling for a moment. He's got to get some sleep. He's got to get some rest. But those, those pearly whites keep on popping up because he's so excited <laughs> as your second year head coach. Jeff, you are uh, always so kind to, to give us the time, and we look forward to seeing you in Vegas. And I know you'll spot the first thousand. So I thank you for that. Gotcha.